Hi everyone, in front of me I've got TechnoSpark Go 2024 and let me show with you how to check the total screen time on this device. Let's start with opening the settings and here we have to scroll down to the very bottom to find digital well-being and parental controls. So let's tap on this option and right here we've got the information about the screen timeout. As you can see in my case it was 15, uh, 57 minutes and most of the time I've spent in the settings. Uh, we've got also the unlocks and the notifications count and if you want to learn uh, check some further details you've got two different ways. So you can either tap inside this graph and you will be transferred to the dashboard which will show you for how long you've been using the device in um, particular days of the week. You can, of course, change the screen time to the notifications received and times opened. And under it, you've got the list of all apps used and with specific time uh, spent on them. And the second way is to type directly on the app. So, for example, the settings in my case, um, again, you will have this dashboard, but this time you can uh, check the time tightly connected with this one app. Again, you can change the screen time to the notifications received and times opened and daily to, uh, to hourly. Under it, you've got also ways to disconnect. So if you decide that you're spending too much time on the screen and you'd like to limit it you can try to use focus mode or dashboard uh, simply tap on it now you can select uh, distracting apps so probably some social media etc just mark them uh, then you can set a schedule so uh, choose particular days of the week and particular time uh, for example, during wo your work or studying or something like that, and then tap on turn on now. And thanks to this, you can decide you can your device will simply hide the notifications uh, from those apps <coughs> during your specific schedule. So I highly recommend. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.